How to convert decimals to fractions? That is interesting. And in this video, I'll show you two methods by which you can convert decimals to fractions. And both are equally effective. So the question here is, convert the following decimals to fractions in lowest terms. So we not only have to convert them to fractions, but also write them in lowest terms. Okay, so that is what we'll try to do. Now let me take one example and that is 0 0.25. One way of converting is like reading the decimals in the right way. For example, how will you read 0 0.25? 0 0.25 is 25 hundredths. Do you see that? 25 hundredths. So 25 hundredths means what? It means 25 over 100. That is the meaning of 25 hundredths. So as soon as you read, you get your answer in fractions. Actually, you are understanding it in fractions only. What is 0 0.5? It is 5 tenths. It is 5 tenths. That means it is 5 over 10. Do you see that? Now, with me, tell me, what is 0 0.08? Is it 8 tenths or 8 hundredths? Well, after decimal, this is the tenth place and that is the hundredth place. So it is eight hundredths, right? Eight hundredths. So that is tenths, hundredths. That is how you do, right? And after that, it will be thousands. So remember that. So you get eight out of hundred. How about 1.75? Now, after decimal, say one and seventy-five hundredths. So one and seventy-five hundredths. So that that is how it is. So that is how you can convert decimals to fractions. Do you understand? By reading them in the right way as they should be read. So that's the beauty of decimal system. Now let's do some more. And here I would like you to pause the video, do it yourself and then check my answers, right? So it is 0 0.2 is 2 tenths. Okay, so it is 2 out of 10. How about 75 hundredths? Okay, 75 hundredths. Okay, 0 0.06 means 6 hundredth, 6 hundredth, and 3.25, just as this case, will be 325, now 25 is hundredth part, right? So we get hundreds. So that is the first part. We have converted decimals to fractions. Now next part is to write them in lowest terms. So lowest terms means you have to constantly divide by common factors. The first one, 25 and 100. You know, there are four quarters. 25 is a quarter. So try to use that quarter. So 25 is a quarter. So there are four quarters in a dollar. So 25 times 4 is 100, right? So this, if you divide by 25, it will be 1. And if you divide this, you get 4. So your answer is 1 out of 4, right? So in this case, you get your answer as 1 out of 4. So 0 0.25 is one fourth. It makes sense. 25 cents is one fourth of a dollar. Okay, well, good. Now 5 and 10. You can divide both by 5. So you get 1 here and 2, right? So this could be written as 1 over 2. So that is how you can simplify these. Now I will do one more for you. Rest you can simplify and write down your answers. So here 8 and 100. So what is common between them? You could divide twice by 2. Let me do that. So we will say 2 times 4 is 8. And 2 goes 50 times. Half of 100. And then again, 2 times 2 is 4. And 2 times 25. So we get 2 over 25. We get 2 over 25. Okay. So that is the lowest term for 0 0.85. Correct. In this case, we can divide both by 5 and then again by 5. Okay. So let's do that. If I divide by 5, what do I get? 5 times 2 is 10 and then 0. And here, 5 times 3 is 15. Okay. So you're left with 25. That means 35. Again, I can divide by 5. 5 times 4 is 20. And 5 times 7 is 35. So I could write this as 7 over 4. Is it okay? Now, at times, you may like to write this as a mixed number. It is improper fraction. In that case, we can divide 7 by 4. So, 4 times 1 is 4 and you get 3 remainder. So, you get 1 whole, 
3 over 4. Correct? So that is how you can write your fractions in terms of lowest terms. I'd like you to do this exercise here and write all these fractions in the lowest terms. But I hope you have understood from here that to convert decimals to fractions, we need to divide them by 10, 100, 1000, a number like that, depending on what decimal is given to us. So if it is like 0 0.75, we know two decimal places after decimal, right? So we have two decimal places. That means two zeros. That means 100, right? So as an exercise, also try to convert these numbers. So this time, I'll give you a few like 0 0.6. This is the first one for you. And then do 0 0.27. And then we have 0 0.27. 0 to 5. Convert these decimals into fractions. Also try 1.34, 1.009 and write down them as fractions in lowest terms as a practice. Okay. So try to do that and see if it is easy for you now. Okay. Remember one thing, read decimals as they should be read. That will give you a hint. You should divide by what. So that is first part. Second is, just see how many numbers after decimal, those many zeros, right? Two numbers after decimal means divide by 100. One number after decimal means divide by 10. So these are the ways you can convert decimals to fractions. Thank you.